Hi Lily Mix, I'm Samantha from the channel The Girl Cried Fashion and I'm here today to give you my entry for the Beauty Bootcamp 2014. Hope you enjoy it, thanks. I've been going a bit lipstick mad recently and I've been purchasing quite a few. So I have got a handful of lipsticks to show you today and since I've been using them for quite a while, I can also review them and say what I think about them. The oldest lipstick that I have purchased was about two months ago, and I haven't got a chance to tell people what I think of it. This is the Kate Moss Rimmel 107, and it's a really deep, plummy colour, and I use this one all throughout Christmas, and I really love it. You can wear it on a day-to-day -day basis if you're going for a dark, vampy look, and it can really easily achieve with this lipstick. It's a very good price, I believe it retails for about £5.49, and it's really easily wearable, so I really like this one. The next lipstick that I purchased was also by Rimmel, but this one is just an ordinary one from the Ordinary Range, and it's 130 Oxford Street Fuchsia. It's a really bright, elegant pink, and it looks really beautiful for day-to-day -day wear. As I'm quite fair-skinned, I like to wear quite rich pinks, and this is one of the colours that I'm really, really loving. This one, again, retails for about £5.49, so it's not a break-the-bank purchase, but it is a really beautiful, lovely colour. Next up, I also bought another pink, this time by L'Oreal Paris, and this one is from the Collection Privé by Dootson, and this particular shade is called Dootson's Nude. They call it a nude but it's a very beautiful pale pink. Of course, it's very sheer, which is why it's termed as a nude, but when layered up, this can become a really bright pastel pink, and it is the shade that I'm wearing today on top of another colour, which will be coming next. This one was one of the more expensive purchases from the drugstore. This one retails for about £6.99, but it's not break the bank, and it is a really lovely colour, and I do really recommend it. Next up are my more higher-end purchases, and this month, after my birthday, I purchased two MAC lipsticks. These are the first MAC lipsticks that I've ever owned, and I thought there had to be a reason behind the price of them, and I was blown away. The first shade that I bought is the MAC in the colour Saint Germain. It's a really beautiful pink, and it's from their Amplified range. It's really beautiful when layered up. It gives you a really bright dolly barbie pink and I really love being able to wear this with my pale skin tone. I really recommend it for those with paler skin. The next MAC lipstick that I bought is another amplified and it's called Up The Amp. This time it's a lavender colour and this one does look very nice with fair skin but I do recommend it for more darker skin tones. It is a lovely lipstick and it's very creamy. It seems to last all day on me, the same as Saint Germain. But again, I wouldn't really like to wear this one during the day. But for a nighttime look, this is perfect. The next thing was one of my birthday presents from my mum, and that is the NARS blusher in the shade Gaiety or Gaiety. Um, I asked my mum for this one, and I really don't regret asking for it. It's such a beautiful pale dolly pink, and when paired with bright pastel pink lips, it looks really beautiful, and the combination is to die for. I am wearing it today with the MAC Saint Germain layered with Dootson's Nude by L'Oreal Privé on top, and I really love the combination. Next up is an eyeshadow that I repurchased from NARS. It's the colour Fez. This one comes in the NARS Ride Up to the Moon palette, and I have used quite a lot of it, so I was worried about running out, and I've decided to repurchase it when I had the money. It's a really beautiful dark sandy brown, and it's really complimentary to all eye colour types. I have blue eyes, but around my pupils I have hazel, so this really picks up the hazel fragments in my eye and really helps them to stand out, so I really recommend this one. It was, of course, a bit expensive, but it was worth every penny because it looks so beautiful day or night. And last but not least, I decided to start my very own MAC Artist palette. Um, I bought the palette and the insert. Of course, this is a large single, not a large duo. I haven't got any refill pans for it yet because I'm planning on buying one once every single month to give me something to look forward to. Um, I don't see the point in going and suddenly filling them all up. I guess that kind of ruins the anticipation of it. So for me, I'd like to be able to buy one each month and this is a great way to get me started. Okay, so that was my beauty haul for the Daily Mix Beauty Boot Camp 2014. I hope it was enjoyable. I've just had such an amazing time filling out the application form and making this video and, and I feel like this is a huge opportunity and whether or not I get the place, I can't wait to see who the contestants are and who gets through. It's such an exciting process, so thank you for giving me the opportunity to enter. Thanks Daily Mix, bye!